In this video, I'm going to show you a free alternative to the fully kiosk browser to run your Sharp Tools full screen on your Amazon Fire tablet. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. And like I said in the beginning of this video, we're going to be looking at an alternative to the fully kiosk browser. So first I'm going to show you what the fully kiosk browser does. So I have the app on my home screen here and it's just the F right here. I'm going to tap on that and it's going to open and it's going to open our dashboard and our dashboard is going to take up the entire screen of our Amazon Fire tablet. Also, we have a screensaver built into here. We can see our cameras and everything at the bottom here. And if I slide over to the left, I get my settings. The drawback of the fully kiosk browser is it is not completely free. There are also 10,000 settings in here and it can get really confusing to new users. So if you're just really trying to get started with Sharp Tools quickly on an Amazon Fire tablet, what I recommend is maybe starting with a free software. So we're going to exit the Fully Kiosk browser now, and you don't even need anything special. All you need is your Amazon Fire tablet, and we're gonna go into the Amazon App Store. I'm gonna tap on the App Store, and what we're going to be downloading is Wall Panel. Now, Wall Panel is an app that will basically do a similar thing that the Fully Kiosk browser does. It'll basically just take over your Amazon Fire tablet, show your dashboard full screen, and it is completely free. So we're just going to tap on Get at the right-hand side here and download. All right, now once it is installed, we're just going to go ahead and open this. We are in the Wall Panel app right now, and it's just opened up to their web page. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings of the Wall Panel app. Now remember on the Fully Kiosk browser, you slide from the left. Now if you slide from the left, nothing is going to happen. What you need to do is go to the bottom right-hand corner where that blue circle is and tap on that. All right, so now we are in the wall panel settings. And what we want to do is just go through here and let's just get our settings the way we want them to be. So if you're mainly using this for your dashboards, you would want to toggle on open on device boot. All right, we go a little bit further down. All of this is good. You can change the theme right here just by tapping here. Now we're on the dark theme. I think I'll just keep it on the light screen for the video. And obviously you do want full screen to be toggled on. That way it takes up the full screen of your Fire tablet for your Sharp Tools dashboard. Now the other thing right here is settings transparent. So remember um, back on, let's toggle that on and then let's go out of the settings. Before at the bottom right hand corner, you could see basically the wall panel logo in blue in the bottom right hand corner. By making it transparent, you can barely see anything. You can just see a little bit of a circle, which is the shadow of the settings. I recommend this, that way you don't have to see that on your dashboard. And now we can just tap in that location and it's going to take us back to our settings. You can also move the setting location. So right here, you can tap on that and you can move it to the bottom right, which it is now, the bottom left, the top right, or the top left. So say if you were accidentally trying to get to your settings and tapping something on your dashboard, you could move that to be in a location where that wouldn't happen. All right, so the display settings, um, if you want it to be always on, you'd want to prevent screen sleep. So we're gonna turn that on. And screen brightness, we would also want to turn this on as well. That way we can have this application control our screen brightness. So we're gonna toggle that on and just tap on OK here, and then toggle that to be on. And then we can just tap the back button, the triangle at the bottom, and then we're back to our settings. And you can see it was saved at the bottom. All right, you can also do a blank screensaver. So we can, let's test that out. So we're gonna do a blank screensaver, and let's do screensaver down here. We're just gonna change our timing a little bit. So now if we go back out, um, we'll just have to wait 15 seconds here and then see what the blank screensaver does. All right, so now you can see it basically looks like a black screen. 
If we tap it, it will come back on. And now we can go back into these settings. So that's a little bit boring. So let's turn off the blank screensaver. I like the wallpaper screensaver. So I'm going to toggle that to be on. And what that's going to do, it's going to go to Upsplash and it's going to get random wallpapers and it's going to show them on your screen. We already went into this here, the 15 seconds. I have it really short because we're just doing the video and I want to show you how the program works. You probably want to make this, you know, one, two minutes or something like that. Just play around with the timing and find what works best for you. The image rotation interval right here, this is actually in minutes. So 15 minutes would be a crazy long time. And then this other setting right here, dim screen, that is just if you wanted to dim the screen by a certain percentage when your screensaver comes on. I'm just going to put that to be zero. That way it doesn't dim at all. In the additional settings section, what we want to do is go to camera settings. We're going to tap on that and we want to enable our camera and we're just going to tap allow. So if we come down to the bottom and we tap on camera test, um, that is actually my office desk. That is where I am right now. Okay, so now you can see, um, I actually had to go into some other settings and now you can see where it says select camera and it's got back camera pulled up. So I'm gonna tap on that and now we can choose our front camera. So now if we hit the camera test, you should see myself and my hand. So we're just gonna go back out of that. Um, you could also rotate your camera. Um, so if it, when you do your camera test, if you're upside down or it's looking weird, you can rotate it. Ours was good, so we're good there. And obviously the other thing we need to do down here is motion detection. Pretty sure that face detection is not gonna work on an Amazon Fire tablet. So motion detection, let's go ahead and turn that to be on. And we're gonna say it's going to wake the screen. All right, so under motion adjustment, motion reset time is set to 30 time in seconds before resetting motion detector. Um, that's probably pretty good. So you can mess with those settings and see what's going to work best for you. All right, so now if we go back out, going back. All right, so now we're back to the main screen here. You can see that you know, it looks pretty much the same. All right, so there you can see the screensaver came on and it's you know basically a cool picture. And then it will kind of flip through different pictures, which is pretty neat because you don't have the same screensaver all the time. And these are really high quality pictures. So now what we need to do is we need to put our sharp tools onto the wall panel. So what we're going to do to do that is we're actually gonna go over, we're gonna get out of the wall panel app. It's actually the screensaver. Go back out to our home screen and we're just gonna go over to the Silk browser. Now that should be on your device from Amazon. All right, so now when you go into your Silk browser, what you're gonna to want to do is just go to sharptools.io, log into your account. You can see that I am logged in because it has my picture. I'm up at the account area. And then you would want to go over to your dashboard section. So I'm going to tap on the master dashboard, copy that. So now it opens up my master dashboard and then we can copy this path at the top right here. And now we have the path to this particular dashboard. We can go back and we can go over to our wall panel app. I'm gonna to go to the bottom corner where the settings is. Tap on that. And then the first thing we need to change right here is the dashboard URL. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And we're just going to delete all this. We're going to paste in our Sharp Tools dashboard link. And then we're going to put in a question mark. And then we're going to type in kiosk equals true. And what that will do is it will be sure that when it opens that dashboard, it's going to open it in full screen with no menus or anything. So we're just gonna tap on OK. So it's question mark, kiosk equals true. Tap on OK. And now you can see that our dashboard path is changed at the top. So all we need to do now is hit the back out of settings, and now it's going to go over to the wall panel, and now it's going to load in our sharp tools. It was trying to get to the dashboard, but it can't get to it unless you're logged in. All right, now you can see that our dashboard has come up and it is full screen. So it's gonna work pretty much the same as the Fully Kiosk browser, but there's no special setup, it's just a couple settings that we need to change in the wall panel app. And it's readily available right in the Amazon App Store as well. Let's tap on the driveway lights. So we just turned on the driveway lights. We got our command sent at the upper right hand corner and we can turn them off as well. 
So you can see this works pretty much the same, just completely free, very easy to set up. So if you're just getting started with dashboards, um, this is a great alternative to fully kiosk browser. It's 100% free. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.